Everybody had been raving about these. So I grabbed one, having no idea what I was going to do with it, and it sat around for probably a good month on my table. I had been working on these and found one pizza pan that I had painted but had not decorated. So I grabbed my calendar. I had an idea. I cut out this red truck and made sure the edges were all clean and clear of any paper that might show up. I glued the edges. I was avoiding the window area because I was worried about the backing showing through. And I used just a little bit. That's probably too much here, but I smeared it around and then glued it to the pizza pan. Like I said, I was worried about the window. I couldn't figure out any way to make that line and number go away, but it didn't seem to show up too much, so I just kind of let that go. The problem was the glue kind of created some uh, ridges in the edge of the truck, but it wasn't that big of a deal because it's a rustic truck, so again, it kind of added some character. And then I took some contact paper that I had left over and created a ground for the truck. If you have a Cricut, if you set a circle for 11 and a half inches in diameter and then cut across straight, then that'll fit inside the pizza pan perfectly. I took some of the cardboard from the calendar, cut three long lengths, the length of the bed of the truck, and then three shorter ones to hold it together kind of like posts and glued that all together with just some white glue but I was finding that it was curling so I grabbed a coaster that was on my table and set that on top and let that dry. I grabbed more of the cardboard, uh, cut up the little pictures on the back of the calendar and some Dollar Tree magnets. I cut the cardboard just a little bit bigger than the picture just to create a little bit of a frame. I glued the magnet to the top back of that piece and you want it to be at the top back just to make it easier to get in and out of the truck bed. I took a little piece of cardboard again from the calendar and put it, glued it on top of the magnet just to keep it from scratching the paint. I took the pop dot adhesives also from Dollar Tree and I put one in each corner so four pieces I didn't have a picture of it I forgot to take it before I uh, used it but if you put one in each corner avoiding the middle post because you need that to be a pocket and there's an adhesive back on those as well I just peeled that off and then stuck it to the pizza pan to create the truck bed this created a nice little pocket that you can put the little calendar pieces from the back with the magnets that we put together. You could put one in, you could put two in, and you can change these seasonally so it makes it year-round use. The rest of the pan needed a little decorating so I did make a big bow and glued that to the top of the hot glue gun. And this is the finished product. I am super excited with how it turned out. These pieces like I said could be changed with the season and if you want to you can even buy little wood pieces from different holidays and do the same process. If you like what you see please hit subscribe. Uh, click on the bell if you want notifications when a new video is out and as always there is a list of materials just below the video.